Oi, mate! Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geard von Everick. Ah! That'll be inside. Olgerd von Everick. I'm looking for him. None here by that name. I was told I'd find Olgerd von Everick here. Someone's made an ass of you, brother. <laughs> so maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Ogeard. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm Ogeard. You? Not likely. I'm Ogeard. <laughs> <laughs> You're all old geared, that it? Got it right, at last. One man split into three bodies. Not interested in his balls, so which of you's got his brain? <laughs> Not laughing. Guess that means you didn't get the brain. Nope. I'm the one got his fists! <laughs> come on, Saring. Stop being a Nazi. Come on, come closer. Right in with our band of merry men. Come on, I'll take you to Old Geard. What do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Old Geard, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest. He's the one wants a monster dead. Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? Sculpture isn't really my thing. Can't blame you. Contemporary art's become superficial and bland. A century on, they'll be using just such nudes on placards to hawk bricks and other banalities. Mark my words. <sighs> I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned, not a flaw on its surface, painfully perfect. 
as lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman Olgierd, long may he live! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Come and drink with us! Well, we haven't a choice now. Fetch us some wine, dear, and a nibble or two. Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Oh, the way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Nay. She went to a fair with her sister or cousin, matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the Oxenfurt sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince, and will wade knee-deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Down she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Hey, you! Puss papers! Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss Peepers. That a problem? Get to the point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative Puss Peepers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it. Then cut the bugger's head off. Keep talking. Clivert dealt Fistech. A few days past, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No. But Cliver was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. cliver has got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, puss peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt. The alchemy inn on the main square. <laughs> 